Okay, today's subject, we're gonna be talking about brake maintenance. So you definitely wanna keep your brakes working properly so you can stop. And I'm gonna give you a few tips on what to look for uh, in your brake system and keep it maintained. First thing you wanna do is you wanna check your levels of your master cylinder, okay? It's located under your hood and it's always in the top right-hand corner. So let me show you where that's at. So here it is, we're underneath the hood. You're gonna come right up here. This is gonna be your master cylinder. You're gonna take that off and you're gonna check your levels, okay? On the side of it, okay, it's hard to see right now, but you're gonna have a minimum and a maximum. Okay, so make sure that it's filled up um, just under the maximum, okay? And I'll tell you why here in just a second. So the reason why you wanna make sure that your brake fluid is filled up to the max or just under it is because when you step on the brake, all of the uh, oil that's in the brake fluid that is in the master cylinder will go into the brake lines for that to give pressure in order to stop the vehicle. Once you release the brakes, all the oil goes back up into the reservoir and that stores the oil there while it's not in use. So if you don't have enough fluid in your master cylinder, that could cause a problem. If you have too much fluid in, that also could cause a problem too. Um, and create too much pressure and could blow a line. So you just need to know, just put the right amount of brake fluid in the master cylinder. So a tip on brake fluid, make sure you check with an auto parts store or your manufacturer's uh, shop and make sure you get the right brake fluid. Also, don't use just anything that's been laying around the house for a long time because brake fluid draws moisture real easy. So if it's already been open or it's been sitting a long time, go ahead and toss that and get some new brake fluid. A lot of you might wanna know, well, when do I get my brake fluid checked? Well, when you go into the shop and they check your fluids, like you get your regular oil changes, they're gonna to top off any uh, anytime that that's low, they're gonna to top off uh, windshield washer fluid, they're gonna to you know, top off brake fluid and all that stuff. So don't worry about that then, but just check it yourself, okay? Just to make sure these shops are real, real busy. Sometimes people forget, people do make mistakes. So make sure that you're checking your levels. Okay, so when you go to the shop and you start getting 25, 30,000 miles, now every time you get your oil change, they're going to inspect the brake pads and rotors, okay? The rotors are the metal that's around your wheel, okay? They have just a small line all the way around. And I'm keeping this simple, guys. I'm keeping it simple. And then the brake pads clamp down on that metal in order to stop your vehicle, okay? So the brake pads, they're pretty resilient when it comes to heat and stuff like that long term or if you do a lot of in-town driving could cause some problems with your brake pads so if you wait too long to get your brakes changed what's going to happen your your brake rotors are going to warp or they're going to get grooves in it and you only have so much metal you can turn but you can maintain uh, your current rotors if you get your brakes changed on time so if you need more information about brake systems, you know, maintenance, uh, fluid checks, what kind of brake fluid should I buy, you can reach out to me or just check your owner's manual. But again, I want to thank you all so much. I hope this information helps you. It's basic information, so I would rather you go out and do some of the research by yourself so that way you can get more in detail. Um, you know, with the videos being so short, I just want to make sure I get the important information out. But always check your owner's manual and it will tell you exactly what to expect.